hello Debbie here and uh, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching today I'm going to show you what I've been working on lately this has taken me a couple weeks to to get done um, started out to be a small journal and end up being not a small journal in fact I made two not small journals <laughs> So these were our um, Easter gifts, spring gifts to uh, two people. This is for my cousin Trace and, or not Trace, I'm sorry, this is for my cousin Lisa. And this one's for my, my very sweet friend Trace. Uh, there's a lot of differences between the, the two. Um, this is the first time I've made a soft cover. Uh, this one's completely soft, like a quilt. Uh, this one... Um, has got like some card cardstock in it to make it stiff. In fact, there's a couple of sheets of cardstock in this one. But I'm going to show you traces today. So Trace and I have a love of old buttons, and I thought it would be perfect to uh, cover the. Um, there's two signatures in here, and to cover these two signature um, stitching um, strings in old vintage buttons. So that's what I did. Uh, this is a Peter Rabbit slash garden themed uh, journal. So I thought it would be how perfect to cover it in this uh, fabric that looks like a basket. So the front cover, I've got it covered in old laces, hand dyed seam binding. I've crocheted these three little uh, flowers and, and sewed little buttons on them. Uh, this is a heart from a very old quilt, a cutter quilt, and uh, some, all just all kinds of stuff. And I stitched around these little, look like little vegetable pockets, little vegetable patches. Um, like I said, this was going to not just be a, a simple journal, but I had so much fun with this. I just kept going and going, and I found such wonderful uh, digital kits to make it uh, with this. So before I get started, I will tell you what I used. Um, I used a Peter Rabbit journal kit. Uh, these are all downloadable kits that I purchased off uh, on Etsy. One was from Allegra Digital. Uh, also uh, some pieces I used from Screech Owl Studio. Uh, that was a digital garden journal. Uh, also from Ephemera, Ephemera. Uh they had a beautiful Peter Rabbit digital journal that I used some of the pages in that. Also uh, McGregor's Garden, I used that. Also uh, there were some other bits and pieces. Uh, digital embroidery uh, trim was from Cinnamon Tea. And I also from Roxy Creations, uh, I used some of her pieces from the Ephemera pack number one. As well as lots of my own scraps and bits and pieces that that you just collect along the way. So a lot of this, a lot of these edges are uh, sorry silk and lace and some vintage lace. So we open this up and there's a pocket here, uh, and it's got a tag and it's it says it's to trace and and uh, with love for me. And we're going to start this book with a picture of a very young Beatrix Potter. And there she's with a bunny. And I tried to make as many journaling spots as I could on this. Uh, glued little Peter Rabbit image here. This was really fun. This is the first time I really uh, did some uh, fancy paper clips, some embellished paper clips. And that was a lot of fun. So this particular one is... Uh, from a cardboard box that I just built some layers up on. A lot of fun. And if you hear some dogs, all three of our dogs just had their dinner and now we started licking. So they all came back in here to uh, enjoy, I guess, the last bits of their dinner. Monkey, stop. Okay, so along the edges too, I've pinned different fun things, mostly charms. Here's a little uh, tiny wreath. And here's a fabric. Uh, this was actually Mary Lake Thompson fabric that was nothing but these jars of, uh, 
uh, canned vegetables and fruits that were really sweet. So I, I cut out a couple of those and stuck it in here. A little guinea pig. Here's a Peter Rabbit image with those real sweet stack of teacups and some vintage lace on the edge of this. Here is a pocket that I sewed and here's some of that digital trim work from um, Cinnamon Tea and I stenciled on this uh, coffee dyed paper. So here's a little postcard and on here I have uh, some very old stamps. So here's a, a three cent stamp. It's probably a Canadian stamp. Uh, it's got the Queen on it. And here is a very old postcard from my stash. Uh, this is actually our Los Angeles Farmer's Market on 3rd and Fairfax in Los Angeles. Uh, the Grove. Uh, my husband works for, for the owner of The Grove and that's right next door to this. So that's kind of neat. That's still there and fun to walk around in. Here is just a little tuck spot. I thought this, this kind of remind me of <laughs> Trace. There's Tra Trace is the young pretty one. I, I'm the older, uh, frumpier one. <laughs> but I thought that was kind of a cute picture of these two friends sitting together and having their picture taken. I crocheted this little flower and stitched a little button on it. And there's some muslin to, to for a pull tab at the top. And a, just nothing much at the back. Here is some ephemera that I took two pieces and I, I hinged them together and again I put a very old two cent uh, stamp on that. Like I said this book was just nothing but joy to, to build. I had to, I had to stop otherwise it, it would have exploded I think. So here's a little uh, image of Peter Rabbit I fuzzy cut and put on there and that's just a little hidden spot that turns out to be a little pocket. And here's a little envelope that's got some sweet paper in it. And here's, again, some more journaling. And I sewed some uh, note paper on the back of that. This is a very old uh, book page. And put these things back as I go. And just absolutely beautiful. Here's uh, from one of the kits, and I decoupaged uh, these roses on it. Again, a um, little fabric tab I used that I stamped a, a, a butterfly stamp on that. And this one I printed out, and I printed it out twice and fussy cut the leaves, so it's kind of a hidden pocket. And here is just some... Ephemera. This actually is, uh, I think, from Roxy Creations. She did all kinds of beautiful linen work that she uh, copied and, and uh, put it together in, a, in her, her downloads that you could purchase, and absolutely beautiful. So here's a sweet, crunchy pocket glassine envelope. And in there, there's a little Peter Rabbit bunny and in here's a matching little book that again there's coffee dyed paper and can be lots more journaling and we also have to join us as our neighbors or children's on spring break so if you hear mama yelling at them <laughs> that's that's from behind us uh, this is a gardening uh, journaling page as well as this and there's some antique lace here and a pretty butterfly charm on the edge here. Here's another little envelope that I decoupaged Peter Rabbit. It was a napkin with some flowers. Please stop. And they're going to bark at the children behind us. Monkey. Monkey. That's our little pug. Um, so here is a sweet little Peter Rabbit saying, even the smallest one can change the world. And little, little spot for journaling or gluing a picture on it and that 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 pulls forward and here we've got a rubber stamp some ladybugs and a rabbit and again there's another butterfly and the torn edge of the coffee dyed paper I stitched the sorry silk on I thought this was really pretty the variegated so this is a blank coffee uh, dyed pa paper and I left it blank because I um, printed on this um, vellum so it's very see-through, so I thought that was just so pretty. That's the first time I printed on vellum. That was wonderful. 
So here's an old photograph of a, of a man I found, and he kind of looked like Mr. McGregor to me, and he's got a pitchfork with a bunch of hay on the end of it, kind of looking a little cross. So I thought that he would make a great Mr. McGregor. So I've got him on there, and there's Peter. And here is a little tuck spot right here that he slides into. And on this other side, here is another embellished uh, pin, paper clip. And it's got some bunnies on it, and that's glued on an old book page. And here is just some, like a, I guess they call them dresser dusters. And so that's another place that can be journaled. And here's a pretty page of uh, Peter Rabbit trying to get, get away from Mr. McGregor. He's pushing his luck with him. And this is the middle of the first signature, and I have tied some vintage buttons on there. And here is a tech spot with a little girl feeding some bunnies. And I thought this was a very sweet picture of two little girls holding what looks like two young rabbits. And so there's another Beatrix Potter uh, illustration. And this is the other side of that printed vellum. And here's a pocket. And I rubber stamped a couple of bees and colored them in with some colored pencils with a flower. And there's a tag. And this is a little teeny book. Peter Rabbit book and it's actually with filled with note paper and right here is a little tag of Peter Rabbit just tucked right in there so sweet here's another tuck spot on a on a garden page and here is a little boy and he's feeding some bunnies and it looks like his mom and dad are back there watching him feed the rabbits uh, that was very sweet and some antique lace here and on this is pinned um, I cut out a very tiny picture of a mama uh, it's a Beatrix Potter image but it's a little mama um, bunny rocking her baby uh, I thought that was real cute in there so here's a gardening page and I've got some ephemera on this some rabbits this is an index card that I decoupaged this uh, Peter Rabbit and a butterfly on then I did embroidery floss that I stitched across there on this coffee dyed card. Here's some more of that glassine envelope with some Peter Rabbit bunnies on there, Beatrix Potter. This is a different uh, envelope and it has its matching book. Again, it's got some coffee dyed paper in that as well. And here we've got a little tuck spot, and here's an little envelope I made, and it's again, it's got it's got some more paper, very sweet little uh, stitched fabric, and tuck that back in. And in this little coin pocket, there's some Peter Rabbit tags, and that's got some crochet uh, thread on the ends of those. And here again, this is some real pretty, um, um, just embroidery cloth work. And then that opens up. And in here, this is actually a uh, library card from a book. And so I've I've got made that into note to hold note paper, and I've layered it on the front with all kinds of fun things, including this little paper. This is from a dictionary we had as as kids growing up. That was our dictionary. So tuck that back in there, and I rubber stamped this wreath and colored it with the same as a B, and I put this cute little squirrel in there. And there's a little pine cone charm. And then here is an envelope uh, made from a page of, uh, from a gardening book. And in here is just a pretty card right on the back of that. And tuck this back in. And there again is an image with uh, two young gals and some bunnies. And that goes on there. 